You're watching CBS 21 News at 5 with Rob Hanrahan, Tanya Foster, and Chief Meteorologist Tom Russell with First Warning Weather. Well, protecting the business that gave him a second chance, this man stood guard fending off looters during the riots in Baltimore. And now he's being called the Baltimore Batman. CBS 21's Lara Greenberg is in Baltimore tonight with why this job means so much to him. Lara. Yeah, uh, Rob and Tanya, this guy did a lot for this bar here, and this bar got taken out pretty badly. This window blown out, all of this glass still on the ground and across the sidewalk here. And the man we spoke with today say this could have been much worse. He says the community really came together to save these businesses here. He's one of them, and he's being called the Baltimore Batman. That's old liquor. His name isn't Bruce Wayne. I'm just a plain guy. I mean, but Brian Woodyard's initials are the same, and so is his hunger to protect. So I asked him to please let me stay in, because then I could set up a defense. Brian's the bouncer here at the old clubhouse. He was working Monday night, but left before the groups of people rioting made it to this part of the city. The owner of the bar, helpless, as the front window was broken. Uh, I'm trying to make a phone call in the 40s for that. I did about like 30 times, right? They never, still, they never show up yet. Surveillance video shows what looters took when they got inside. Tobacco and liquor. The metal grate we had here. So Brian returned here. to work dressed like Whoa. this, armed with a machete to keep other looters away. I was just trying to get the bar cleared and hope, pray God they didn't set it on fire and destroyed everything in it. So why the mask? It was the only thing I could grab at the time. And get down here and try to save my job. This job is important to him. Brian admits he's an ex-felon. But these people actually stood up and gave me a chance. He says keeping the bar safe is his way of thanking them. The getup now has people calling him the Baltimore Batman. But Brian says he's not Batman. He's one of many Batman in Baltimore. A lot of us did not wear masks. I mean, but a lot of us did defend our homes, defend our storefronts, defend our bars, and I mean, we did our best. Now, the bar lost an estimated couple thousand dollars because of the damage and also because of those stolen items or looted items, I should say. And Brian told us that he wasn't keeping count, but there were reporters across the street watching this all play out, and they counted about 50 looters that he stopped from coming in this bar. Live tonight in Baltimore, Lara Greenberg, CBS 21 News. All right, Lara, could have been a lot worse. Thank you. And you